about half past seven in the evening. I've headed out to a local spot where I've been photographing hares recently. I've been back about four times to the same spot, unsuccessful, haven't seen a thing. It's almost like they've packed the bags and left every single one of them. So I thought I'd head back out again the night where we'll have some really nice light and see if we can get some shots of some hares local to me. Now one thing I have been doing photographing hares is I've actually kind of been stalking them, looking for them, hunting for them. So tonight I actually thought I would actually just find a spot that I like the look of in terms of composition because there's a shot I had in mind with one of the big hares that I've seen coming down the path uh, amongst all of the meadows. Um, so I thought that tonight I would just plonk myself down and see if patience will actually pay off. But only time is going to tell. It's now 20 to 8. The spot is, it does get a lot of motorbike. Yeah. I think tonight's going to be a complete fail. Right behind us. Well, that was generally unexpected. You can see the spot where I'm sitting from, there's a path. There's a couple of trees that are going to kind of frame the subject. Just come back up there. Um, and there was a family of, I think they were partridges. I do believe they were partridges. Let me know in the comments below because I'm brand new to wildlife photography. I'm not 100% sure if they were partridges or not. We decided just to pop down the path. I thought that was quite fun, quite cool. There was four of them. Managed to catch the last one with a little bit of video. I'll pop that up on the screen now so you can see. And I'll pop up the picture that I managed to grab. So, nice little start. The light is absolutely stunning tonight, but as you can hear behind us, the motorbikes are still here and they're running riot. They're running everywhere. Great fun, I'm sure they're having loads of fun, but it's spoiling my night and I'm not going to get any decent kind of images tonight. So I'm going to head back. Um, I'll maybe pop into another field that I know where I've seen the hares. So a little bit of a result. I've just bumped the guys on the bike and they're actually leaving. So I thought I'd head back and kind of just plonk myself back in a similar position and see if I can ch chance me luck once again. I suppose whilst I'm waiting, I might as well talk about the autofocus on the Z8 and what I've started to lean towards using, especially in wildlife photography. Now on the Z6 II, I was quite accustomed to using the subject tracking. I thought that worked so well. Um, obviously it did feel a little bit on faster moving objects and stuff like that, but the majority of the time it done the job. Got to say though, the Z8, the subject tracking that is just sublime. It really is really, really good, but not 100% good. I still find I have to use smaller focus and box. I think it's the wide. I'll pop it up on screen how I'm using it. Um, just to get focus on the specific animal. And then if I want to track it, I'll press my function button, which I've set to subject tracking. That will then lock on the subject and then I'm able just to fire away. But I've got to be honest, I've got to, whilst I'm in animal detect and the small area EF, it does a fantastic job as long as I get that box over the subject that I'm shooting. And it always seems to just focus on the eye anyways. Um, it's been a game changer. I'm being able to shoot 20 frames a second been having great shots like the Kingfisher, a lot of birds in flight, not missing the shots. It's been a big, big change. And I've kind of kept them settings for video as well, especially for wildlife, specifically for wildlife and using the subject tracking if I need to. Um, and it's working really, really well. Hopefully I can put that into practice and catch a hair. It's been about 20 minutes since I last sport you. Um, still nothing. I may give it another 20 minutes, see what happens. But just wanted to ask your advice. It seems that this last few weeks in August have been terrible for photograph and wildlife. I've come out again tonight. There's nothing around it, literally nothing apart from that partridge earlier on. There's no birds in the trees. I can't hear any birds singing. It's just as if they've packed up and went on holiday. So is the end of August a good time to photograph wildlife? In fact, 
what is a good time to photograph wildlife? Is it during the day? This time, half year at, eight, at night, morning times, watch your favorite time for photographing wildlife. Please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate that feedback. Well, I'm gonna call that a night. That was a completely unsuccessful wildlife outing. Um, kind of happens actually. I think, I think I'll just post this on YouTube because not every wildlife trip out is successful. I've learned that. You need a ton of patience for sure. Um, I mean, it wasn't all bad. We did see that part, which was pretty cool, running down the middle of the path, I must admit. A nice little experience to see that. But overall, it was a complete feel. The light's terrible now. I'm not going to stop any longer. It's nine o'clock. I'm hitting ISO 16,000. I don't really want to go any higher than that. I'd still be able to get some nice clean images, but it's not the images I'm after. Yeah, so I need to find some new locations. I think that's one of the problems. I'm keep repeating the same areas over and over again because I do have shots in mind that I want to get, but maybe I just need to space the time out in between coming back and forth and also understand when is the best time to shoot wildlife photography, especially hares. Um, yeah, we'll see. So that's it for this video, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next outing. Hopefully, it will be a bit more successful. See you then.